Hello to another video with uh, Linux Mint. This time it's uh, Linux Mint 20 installation. It's uh, arrived and uh, we have a great job done by Linux Mint developers uh, giving us uh, one very nice distributions. If I go to Linux Mint website, uh, the first thing is to check uh, system requirements, if everything is uh, matching to your system, but usually they they have very low requirements, so most of the computer now today's system should to be fine. Checking for known issues, I have two notification. Chromium is not present in the default repo uh, repositories, and that's uh, because have some uh, kind of privacy issues with them. Uh, Snap Store also is disabled because uh, turn out that uh, they can uh, manipulate your computer, updating and changing program without your knowledge. So I can say thank you, Linux Mint uh, developers, to give us this choice and protect us from that. If you have VirtualBox, you can have a black screens and you have to uh, update some graphics. Uh, this is everything what you need uh, to know mostly. Everything looks fine. I'll use uh, Cinnamon Edition. Uh, Linux Mint 20 is only 64 bits, so uh, if you want to use 32, it's no longer available. Downloading uh, ISO file, and uh, you can go after them to documentation and choose your language. And you can see how you can uh, transform your ISO file to bootable media. You have options from Linux, Mint and Windows, Mac. Uh, the information is pretty straightforward, it's very simple. I'll just give a very short demonstration if you have Windows and you like to create a USB uh, bootable media. Download one file, execute it, install it. Plug your USB drive and when you start uh, the application uh, you should to be able to see it if you have uh, a different you can click change and select the other USB drive the first uh, button when you click you selecting your uh, win Linux Mint uh, ISO file and you just uh, pressing the third button when it's ready you can just reboot the machine select uh, the USB in my case it's a CD-ROM because I use in VMware <coughs> I'm booting from uh, installation uh, installable media. I will just uh, adjust uh, screen size a little bit uh, so you can be able to see a little better. You can type uh, directly in the search display. Select the resolution as near as your monitor native resolution is. My native resolution is not supported 1920 by 1080. I will show in the video how you can enable in Linux that particular resolution. If you need it, of course. So start uh, install Linux Mint. Choose the language the keyboard layout check multimedia codecs so you don't have to take care of after that it will be uh, everything will be downloaded uh, during the installation I already have something uh, in this hard drive so I will erase it if it's an empty drive, you will not have these options, you have directly options to install it. Cool. 
select the time zone, choose username and your password. I don't want to log in uh, all the time when I booting my computer, so I will select uh, login automatically. If you like to have privacy, you can keep it uh, to ask you for the password every time when you boot your computer. That is useful if you have uh, multiple users. I will cut a little bit the video so you don't have to go through the whole installation timing process. And need to restart the computer. It will ask you to uh, take out your uh, uh, USB drive and press enter. After a few seconds you'll be inside of your just uh, freshly installed Linux Mint 20. I'll change the resolution back to more visible one. Okay, so in preferences you can select display and uh, as I mentioned before, my native resolution is not here, but I will select something a uh, little more near, so you will be able to see better. It will take me just a few uh, minutes, uh, and you can see how you can enable resolution which is not supported by your Linux, like uh, in my case, 1920 by 1080. You have to create one file, navigate to etc folder and uh, x11. Open x11 with right button like as root. It will ask you for your password. We don't need the first one. Now with the red uh, color, it will give information that uh, exists, uh, it's uh, root privileges. You have to create a folder inside. This uh, text uh, I will put in my description of the video, so you can uh, copy paste it from there. Inside you have to create a file. and copy section. So this text, you copy paste it inside of the new created file and save it. That is everything what you have to do. Now the resolution will be enabled and we need to restart our Linux Mint. Here it is, after reboot, I will have an uh, option to change to the native of my monitor resolution, go back to preferences, display, and here it is, 1920 by 1080. Okay, so let's uh, continue. This is the welcome screen, selecting the first tabs, it will guide you if you want to change some. Uh, but first, an um, important one is create a backup with the system snapshots. Just in case something goes wrong, you always can recover your uh, uh, your operational system. Just click next, next. Select the drive which you want to backup and where you want to be. I don't want to be automated uh, backups, 
I will do it it manually so I disable it but if you want you can do it by default it will not back up your personal files and folders so you have to if you want to keep it up to uh, always backed up with the operational system you can select it uh, finding your username in my case I don't want to back up my personal files I can do it manually but if you want uh, it's better to have it it press the button create and now we already have the configuration setup so it will just follow our instructions in the configuration and make uh, our snapshot here it is we have uh, our system backed up and the next step is device uh, driver manager it will check if you need any uh, special drivers like nvidia or um, AMD draw, uh, video cards or something uh, which required uh, third party I didn't have anything so I just closed the window and go to the next step update manager click OK the blue uh, with the blue car color will ask you if you want to switch to uh, nearby you mirrors you can click OK in my case it's not important I click straight to install updates and when it's finished I need to restart the computer and this is what I told you that uh, you can select on the blue yes or no so it will be faster downloads okay I'm restarting the computer here we are again let's go back to the first steps the next is uh, system settings and if you need to change anything you can do it from here you can find displays but some special drivers for my case uh, I don't need uh, any changes so follow the next step um, it's uh, software manager and uh, firewall if you like firewall to be enabled for any reason you can just click uh, the slide button and you'll be unable I don't need any of them if you have any issues you can click uh, near to the clock the taskbar and it's asked me to install some language packs it didn't take very long so I didn't have to post if you need to see your system it's here right now it shows me that uh, my system is up to date and I will show you very fast what is coming with the uh, freshly installed uh, Linux Mint 20 the first is uh, the browser by default it's a Firefox browser 7701 the office is uh, LibreOffice uh, pre-installed the version is um, 6.4 something and the rest of the programs which we arrived is um, this is for video and audio graphics network and internet so this is everything uh, with the freshly new install thank you very much subscribe if you like and have a very good day